everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know what you're thinking, Grace, it's a Wednesday, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm giving you an extra video. Yeah, basically how I curl my hair, like these loose waves. If you want to see how I created these curls, then just keep on watching. They're starting off my hair. Um, I didn't even blow dry it last night, I just washed it. But this is sort of like the natural state of my hair. <laughs> it's quite flat and quite dry at the ends. So, first thing, I'm just gonna brush for it using a tangle teaser. These brushes are so good. Tangle teasers are amazing. I have this one, which is the original one, and a compact one. So I'm just gonna brush through my hair. Make it nice and smooth. And for heat protectant, I'm gonna use the Aussie Take The Heat Leave-In Spray. This is really, really good. I've lost the lid though, <laughs> so I do get worried in case it's gonna leak. But I'm just gonna spray this through my hair. It smells so good as well. Mm, amazing. And you wanna section your hair off. Now with curls, I like them to be quite messy. I don't like perfect curls. Um, so I just roughly do it down the back of my hair so I've got the two pieces either side. I roughly just take my finger just more or less above my ear and all the way back like this, so I have about this much hair. Just twist it up and flop it over to one side to get it out the way. So to get the waves, I'm gonna use the, this is a Vidal Sassoon Tools. It looks like this. Um, it is thick straighteners, I think, and you, it like unlocks um, and you can straighten your hair with it. But when you put them together and lock it, it makes like a really nice wand. I did used to use a Tony and Guy like jumbo wand. I can't remember what it was called now, and that's really gonna frustrate me, but I used to use that and I really, really liked it. And then I got a letter from Boots to say that I think some of them had been faulty, so we had to send them back, which I was really frustrated with. And then I was like, you know what, I won't get another one because I might have to send it back again. So I just stuck with this and I really like how the waves look. So I'm just gonna split this roughly into two. You wanna curl away from your face because it is most flattering for curl. So um, I used to find this really difficult and I was like, how do I curl out outside? Like I couldn't figure out the position I needed to be in. So what you wanna do is basically flip it upside down. This is the easiest way I found it, if you know about Webley's Dummy. Um, but I literally just flip it upside down and wrap my hair around like that. And then you literally just wanna leave it for a few seconds not, and then take it off. I don't want them to be tight ringlets. I just want them to be like loose waves. Something like that is absolutely spot on. And then you just literally do the same again. I tend to rest my arm on the top of my head. Just be careful to not burn your fingers. Some of these do come with like gloves that you can wear. Um, I burnt my finger this one the other day. <laughs> really, really hurt. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> then let go. So you have something that's roughly like that. I just want to let to the next section. I tend to do this side has my fringes on it. Um, I tend to do it in like three steps, whereas this side I tend to only really do two because there's obviously not as much hair over this side of my head. So then I just take it again, a little section, about that much, that'll do. And again, grip this one over. Then I always start from the back um, because if you cut the front, it's quite difficult for you to find the rest of the hair that you've got left that's straight or wavy or frizzy, however your hair is. Um, I'm just gonna keep back the bit that I want to be right at the very front of my hair. So I probably want about this chunk. Uh, to be one curl on its own. So I'm just gonna clip that to the side. Actually, just go again. Again, just roughly down the middle and grip that bit back.
hair you're going to want to take something like a serum or an argan oil I'm going to use the um, Avon Advanced Techniques 360 um, Moroccan argan oil this is really good really cheap I'm just going to put a few pumps of that in my hands and then just run it through this will just make everything be nice and sleek and also because I have dry ends it will really help with that then you have something like that because I put the argan oil in um, when I brush through my hair it's not going to make them go frizzy they're still going to be quite sleek and quite smooth and quite Hollywood stylish so I'm just going to gently brush through then the same on the other side Then if you do have quite flat hair like me, um, this is a really good product. This is the L'Oreal Studio Line Texture Styling Volume Super Sizing Spray. Whew. Um, this is really good. So all you have to do is just lift up a bit of your hair and spray your roots. Just a little bit. And then I tend to pop it back down and then just like crunch together. And it really does just boost your hair. I really like it. It's and that is literally the finished look. This took me probably about 10 minutes. That is the end of this midweek extra video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see you on Sunday for a video.